My name is Brent Ward. My wife, Jane Marie, and I have uh, developed a legacy project as a memorial tribute to our families. We've lost so much that benefited so many. Where we're at now was as flat as that soybean field next to us is. And once we started the work, the change was just incredible. Uh, the, to see wildlife return, to see uh, the natural habitat, all those things make it a night and day difference. We need the farmland, but we also need habitat. And uh, that's what this is all about. We decided to donate the property because as the, the original objectives were to uh, enable a, us to do something ourselves, actually, but we also wanted to have an example that can be used into the future so that other people can be motivated and uh, be interested in, and come to see how it can be done. It doesn't happen overnight. If you suddenly have a wetland, we, we restore a wetland, it takes a while for uh, the vegetation around it to evolve, for the aquatic vegetation to become established. It may take a year or two, Another thing that they will have to do is watch out for invasive species, in particular Phragmites. It's a lot easier to get rid of it when there's one or two plants than when the whole thing has been taken over. And, and there's lots of help available to, uh, to describe what you need to do to, to manage that as well. Sometimes it's uh, these small cut up fields that are really too small for big machinery to get in and out of. And why not give it back? People actually lose money trying to farm little parts like that and, and we uh, work with them to uh, change what they're doing. We purchased this property um, five most, years ago. about five years ago, mostly to have a spot for the boys to play. And we had a dream of building a forest and having an outdoor space for them to feel like they were in an element that not all children get to have. So we've been working um, on this wetland project um, for a couple years now, and it's all in place, as you can see, um, and we're pretty proud of it. It's personal for us to do this project because um, we want to preserve nature. Um, we do hunt and fish, and the only way to preserve nature is to um, protect the habitat, and we want to instill that in our children. Well, it's sad to see that a lot of uh our forest around here and tree lines are getting cut down and one day I hope that our boys, uh, we, we won't see it, but they'll see the full potential of our wetland and the trees we planted and for their kids to see as well.